Pilots one. Uh, Stan and Nicole, this is, uh, we've been talking about the brand new 21 Pilots music. We absolutely, absolutely love and Tyler, look at this. You're right here to talk about it. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I, uh, I'm excited to talk. This is my first. This is my first um, interview over over the webs. So seriously, really, really? Yeah. do you have a do you have a high level of concern? Are you going to be okay? I, I'm pretty concerned right now. Yeah, <laughs> I think you might have overdressed for it uh, there. Yeah, but. I tried. I tried to really show up for you guys. I see you guys don't really care. So I, really, I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel really bad. Like you got your son left on. Um, yeah, this is actually the, the jacket I got married in. Was your little baby going? I mean, Rosie. She looks like a little munchkin. She is cute. I, you know, her. my wife and I have talked. Do we think she's cute just because she's ours? It'll be this forever question we're never sure of. And right. people saying things like you just said kind of makes us think maybe, maybe she's actually cute, but we'll never know. <laughs> What's how, one of the cool would... things that she's doing right now? Anything cool? I mean, and I know when they're just a couple months old, they're sort of a blob. But yeah, I mean, she's she doing... just like a ball of skin right now. But she, I think, <laughs> I think she's able to mimic me. I, I, I make a noise. Um, it's just a silly like good noise, and she can kind of make that. And then my wife does rolls her tongue, and she makes that at her. So right now that's our names. I'm good and she's so. <laughs> go Rosie, you go. Now, how was she in front of the camera? She's obviously in the video. Her first, her first big debut. Was she uh, a natural or was she resistant? Oh, she was a natural. So when I when I wrote the treatment for that music video, that was like the first scene that came up in my head, um, and then I built everything else around it. And that scene was when the lights kick on. Uh, my daughter's eyes blink like she just thinks that it's ridiculous that we're doing that um, and it worked great so you hey, said you said that you you're um, wearing um, you're wearing what you got married in correct I think so okay I, I hope you think so yeah. um, I just want to know is is Josh married did Josh just run away and secretly get married Oh. Because, um, because I'm just he was wearing a wedding ring in that video so I just kind of caught my eye and I was like what's going on here Ah, okay. All right, cool. Okay. I like it. All right. No hey, hey, okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey Tyler. Uh, one of the things, first of all, amazing video. Over, over 17 million views so far. Very creative, very now. I love it. But here's what I wanted to know. Do you guys really live next to one another? <laughs> Have houses next to one another? Um, no, we don't actually live next to each other. But uh, we, well, you know what? It'd probably be a better story if I told you we did. <laughs> no, the truth is <laughs> go with it. Best. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we live right next to each other. We're sick of each other. We we don't want to see each other anymore. And we only talk when, when it has to do with music. So we, we don't even like each other. <laughs> so was level of concern something you were already kind of working on before the whole quarantine, or one day did just the whole thing come to you and you decide we gotta get it out now? No, that happened that happened naturally. I, I didn't have that one in the hopper ready to go. Actually, my mom made a comment to me in passing as kind of all the news was breaking about the the virus, and she just said, Man, I could really use kind of an upbeat song right now to distract me from all this and um I guess that speaks to the danceability of the track and I didn't want to be too on the nose with the lyrics so I wanted to pair it with another true story which is when I first met my wife she I was ready to date her I was ready to dive right in and she was a little more hesitant and not to compare a pandemic with the uncertainties of a relationship but in that moment for for someone who maybe not isn't getting you know their feelings reciprocated in their world it does kind of feel like um starting to bubble over and be, become a little anxious. So I wanted to kind of pair those two stories and, and move them down the lane at the same time so that maybe the song could, could survive when all this is over too. You know, we are in the middle of a pandemic and uh, it's really, really hard and we're all trying to, you know, just push through together. But I thought it was so amazing that you guys are donating a portion of the profits from the song to some of the people that would be working, you know, maybe like on tour or backstage, the people that are out of work right now because that's some, a lot of people's cases right now. Yeah, I mean, we know, uh, Josh and I know so many people that we've been on tour with. We, we're we supposed to be on the road right now. I mean, like, this is such a weird thing for us to be home for such a, a long period of time. We we started this thing saying we want to go out and play as many shows as we can. We'll, we'll play for anyone, um, do any type of show. And um, through that journey, well, the past 10 years almost now, uh, we've, we've met so many great um, men and women who travel with us and tour with us and and right now their worlds, just like a lot of people's worlds, are just kind of uncertain on hold. And um, kind of seeing Live Nation uh, creating this charity, it just, it just felt right because we knew it was going to impact so many people that we, we knew directly. And, and I saw, too, it's not just the song. You guys also have some, like, 21 Pilots merch that you can buy and help out with, too, right? Like, I saw a couple hoodies. Yeah, there's a hoodie on there. It says something about the crew, and you buy it, and, you know, it'll, it'll go to not, not just helping our crew. 
um, but just any any touring crew, not just touring, but also these venues, these big arenas that are kind of like the the pulse of a lot of cities that we go into. Um, they they hire a lot of people, man. It takes a lot of people to run a big building like that, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been in a lot of those buildings and, and met a lot of those awesome people, and so it's it's for them too. Hey Tyler, awesome. Tyler, since you've been uh, quarantined with your wife, you're normally on tour. You guys are not only not together under these type of tight circumstances. What wonderful thing have you learned about your wife while being <laughs> this close together? Or horrible thing. Um, <laughs> I guess, oh, man, I, I never, it's not like I want to get away from her, but walking down the driveway and back helps sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Got to um, take a walk. Gotta t I got to take a walk. You already checked the mail today. I'm going to see if you came back. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Tyler Joseph from 21 Pilots. Uh, brand new music. They got it out. We're going to do more next on the mashup. Uh, Tyler Joseph from 21 Pilots. Nice enough to jump on with us. A brand new song, Level of Concern, that we, we absolutely love. And th th so we've all watched the video. We've all seen it. The thing that, like, it's obviously we're all doing stuff at home. It's a low budget, made at home video. So when you do this, now does it make you want to go out and spend a whole bunch of money on your next video? Or you're like, hey, I kind of like this. We're going to do it this way from now on. Keep it simple, I, yeah. I actually, I was telling Josh, man, I never want to spend a dime on, on the video again. That was, <laughs> that was so fun. It was, it was just, it, it's how we did it when we started too. We grabbed a camera and just started filming ourselves playing music. Like I, we knew right away when we started making music that the video component and having content out there was going to be really important for things to start to gain some traction. And because of that, we've had, we have some really, I don't know, beginning low budget amateur videos out there that we're still proud of. I think that uh, a lot of big budget music videos kind of lose the sense of, there just needs to be a simple story. There needs to be a, something to be said at the end, something maybe that catches you off guard um, and something, something hopefully charming about it. And I love writing treatments for music videos. And uh, it was a perfect opportunity where I guess in a sense, the pressure wasn't there because, you know, it's not like we're going to hire a big crew and, you know, spend a bunch of money on it. And it was a, it was a moment for us to really kind of shine and get back to how we used to do it. Now, I know obviously you guys are so close. You're in a group together forever. Um, I saw that you tweeted something that made me laugh and I need to know a little bit more about it that you said, uh, uh, you're getting dangerously close to having as many sleeping photos of your newborn daughter as you do of Josh. Is that a thing when you're on tour? You try to snap him in like, with like catching flies? What is this all about? You know, Josh, he, you know, he, he's, he's the cutest when he's drumming and sleeping. It's just, it's just you can't, you can't compete with it. Um, and yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know, are you, are you guys one of those people that take a ton of photos and then just leave them in? I mean, if I were to go into my, mo my wife's photo album on her phone, she's got 50 of the same photo. Um, <laughs> and then another 50 of the same photo. I'm the type of person I like to try to clean it out. Let me pick one or two that I like. Um, and so I just can't seem to delete the ones of my parents. That's how much I care. And yeah. it's, I, I'm, it's getting close. All right. All right. <laughs> so this is the first song. Uh, Level of Concern is kind of the first song that is born completely from the coronavirus and from a situation we're all going through. What do you see coming from other musicians as, as inspiration? Do you think it's going to be as upbeat? Because uh, having something upbeat in such a tragic time was a little bit of a surprise for everybody. So do you think that that's the direction kind of music is going during this? Or, or do you see a little more somber? What do you see from other artists? Coming? Man, I mean, that's what's so beautiful about uh, songwriting and music in general is that it can really be a mirror, a reflection of what's going on. So a lot of times it'll, it'll be a direct reflection or it'll be filling the gaps that are needed. And I think for this song in particular, there was, like I mentioned about my mom just mentioning, she just wanted something upbeat, something to distract her and something a little more hopeful. Um, I think that in that sense, yeah, music can come in and kind of fill that void. Um, but I also think there's gonna be a lot of great art that comes out of this that is a direct reflection of, of some of the uncertainties and anxieties that, that people are feeling. You know, something I like to remind myself, especially in a time like this, is everyone's kind of going through a different version of it, their own version of it. Um, you know, I, I live in Ohio, you know, naturally there's a little more space. Like I said, I could walk down my driveway and, and check my mail if I want, but I, I have some friends that live in big cities where they, they can't even leave their, their tiny apartment. And, you know, I follow them on Instagram and they, they take a picture of their window every day. You know what I mean? And so yeah. that's, that, that when, when, you're, when you're tied to such a small space like that, the the anxiousness can really build on itself. And um, so just throughout this whole time, as I'm writing songs, I try to put myself in, in other people's shoes, realizing that everyone's going through a different version of this. And what, what about what if, for 21 Pilots? Are we gonna see a more upbeat future for you guys? Oh man, I can't, I don't know, man. I literally just let the wind take me. I go down in the studio in my basement and I play one sound and then build off of there and, and then it goes. I think that I've always been intrigued with this idea of pairing 
you know, maybe this upbeat, happy sound with some really catchy chords and then lyrically kind of, um, I don't know, offsetting that with, with, with a little heavier of a message. I've, I've always liked that, that paradox. So. I like that. In this pandemic situation that we're all going through, we're all isolated. What did you find that you missed the most? What do you miss the most, Tyler? <laughs> I actually just asked a friend that. Um, he, he said fast food. Mm. I don't know if I'm there. Um, <laughs> So you can still get fast food. It's just whether or not you trust the teenage kid to make it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, just the, the freedom to, to enjoy little things around you. Um, I think interactions with, with uh, neighbors and people that you see randomly, I think that anytime you go out, you know, getting those essentials, there's this weird, I don't know, like game you play where I'm going to go down this aisle. Are you going down this aisle? Like, I got to make sure I don't go down your aisle. And I just hope that it doesn't, I hope that it doesn't change the way that we interact with even even strangers. I think that I think that there's you know my grandfather who who passed away a couple of years ago. One of his best qualities was he could strike up a conversation with anyone and um, really brighten their day. And that's something that I really admired about him. And I, I just hope that that stuff doesn't leave. Yeah. 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 Something um, that I saw. I don't know. I I, I think it's true. Um, that definitely brightened my day. If it is true, were you guys the answer on Jeopardy recently? Yeah. Was Twenty One Pilots the answer? I mean, honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing an interview with you guys if I'm, I'm at that level. <laughs> I mean, you haven't made it until you're the answer to I mean, something that's ever been here. <laughs> well, Tyler, thank you so much for doing this. And we want everyone to go out and get level of concern because uh, we're helping out crew members uh, that, that are out of work right now. So we think it's a really awesome thing. And thank you so much uh, for spending some time with us today. Hey, guys, thanks for having me. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, love you, man. Love Stay to the safe. family, baby. Thanks, guys. See, See you later. later.